Hi everybody, I'm Von Reed the Rogue, also known as Xander Wolf from Nine Circle of Horror, and welcome back to Wanna Don't Wanna, where I play horror games and scare the crap out of myself for your entertainment. Today I'm going to be playing Layers of Fear, which is an early access game put out by, what's it called, Bloober Team SA, and I've seen a good amount of gameplay on YouTube, and it just looks absolutely amazing and super terrifying, and, and I'm really excited to play it for you guys today. So, without any further ado, let's start playing this game. Oh, God. The torment I have to endure. I still hear the scratching in my head. Deeper and deeper, and my hands cut so many times on broken bottles. Each night, drowning in a cold sweat. But there is a way. A way to bring back what life took from me. The only precious thing. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. That's kind of disturbing. And so is that. Okay. An artist's triumph. Gallery openings wows critics. Some call him the new uh, Caravaggio, others compare him to Van Eyck, and one awestruck critic, who wished to remain unnamed, went as far to involve the spirit of the great Leonardo. Any way you slice it, the exhibition proved an immense success. Let's go ahead and close that then. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialist, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. Alright. What I understand a good amount, uh, a good part of this game, oh shit, that's terrifying, a good amount of this game is exploration and just seeing what's in drawers and in cabinets and stuff like that, because that's where you find all the clues for all the stuff that you have to, you have to find and, and look for. So bear with me while I look through every single cabinet and drawer that I can find. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Person's got some sass. Alright, so the keys are in the office. But where is the office? Um, I don't want to go in the basement. It got super dark. I'm gonna go back up. I don't have a flashlight or anything. So I'm gonna wait on that. And go upstairs. That's terrifying. Sounds like I have a limp. Oh, there's blood on the floor. Wonderful. Oh, 
been working all night. Don't wake me up. Nope. Can I turn you off? I don't like you. New a the new face of music. A night at the opera becomes a night to remember. Alright. Anything else in this drawer? No. Galactic's grand opening in flames. There's just a lot of things to read in this in this game. Disastrous fire at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. The long-awaited opening of the galactic department store turned into hell on earth when the building's right wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exit in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building having no chance to escape the raging inferno. Let's see here. Can I open these? No. Sorry, couldn't sleep. The legs have been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. I love you. His wife sounds so loving. Based on gameplay that I've seen, it's- oh, that scared me. That should not have scared me, but it did. So on edge. So many liquor bottles. Oh my god, I've never seen so many. And we collect them in this house. Oh, just some clothes, nothing particularly interesting. Okay. That is a weird looking painting. It looks like the Eye of Sauron, doesn't it? Okay, that's a normal painting. Can you not? Can you please not do that? Alright. There are liquor bottles all over this house. Nope. Rather not. Alright, well here's the office. So this must have the keys to the room that I want to get into. Alright, things are broken. That dude's there. Okay. Keys. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. Tonight, it's all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. Uh-oh. Alright, Little Red Riding Hood. Alright. That's nice and creepy. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I've agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place, for old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task, because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. I mean, it's about a wolf killing people. What do you expect? There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. 
Your old pal, Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. I mean, it's not exactly a children-friendly story, you know? I mean, that wolf kills so many people. Okay. Uh, can you please not? Please don't do that shit. Oh, this must be my kid's room. What is this? I know you're not colorblind. Oh, why pink? Dude, don't be a dick. She's a child. I mean, isn't that one of our rules here at Real Women of Gaming? Just don't be a dick. Of course, I, I can't really control that person that I don't know. Okay. So cute. Her work is so cute, and he's such a dick. Let's not turn the light off. Hello, creepy ass dolls. I could not sleep in a room. Especially with a doll that doesn't have a head. That's just. That's just not okay. Uh, I recognize this room from playthroughs. There's that creepy baby again very popular art piece. Let's hear. Can you open? Open. Alright, nothing special. Just brushes. I like how I don't show up in mirrors, so I have no idea what I look like. I can't read that document there? Nope. Alright. Art slide, very familiar. Alright, just leaves. Okay. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. Alright, someone is getting angry. Get it right this time. See that back there? Alright, so this is a nice little pastoral view right now. Get it right this time. It's the same one that's above the bed, isn't it? Looks like the Eye of Sauron. That's creepy. Alright. Open all the way, please. Come on. Alright, things are starting to happen. Nope, can you not? Please? It's over here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Can I move that? No. Just out of. Oh shit. Okay. Game is officially terrifying. Can I leave this room? Oh, and look at that. A different place. Alright. Man. Oh, I don't wanna. There's so much blood. Going in circles. Wonderful. This guy has a lot of arc work around here that's not done by him. Which, I mean, is not a criticism or anything, but I'm just saying, I, I'm, I'm very proud of my ability to, uh, to sort of recognize paintings. Whether or not I remember the name or, or the title or something, I just remember this art history class that I took years and years ago, and... What's this? Can I read it? Yes. Dear Sir and Madam, we must kindly, albeit strongly, urge you to keep your voices down during the night. Your, your marital problems, while regrettable, are a private matter and should remain that way. 
They are certainly of no concern to us and, are especially, and especially our children. Please consider that not everyone is a freelance artist. Some of us have to get up early and work for a living. We need our sleep. We must also warn you that if things continue the way they are now, we will be forced to call the police. Sincerely, your very tired neighbors. Oh, I have thought about writing a note like this so many times in my life. Namely, in the last few years. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I, I've been unfortunate enough to have very loud... Can you stop closing? Please. I've been unfortunate enough to have very loud neighbors that have... Uh, I guess... Um, damaged, not damaged, that's the wrong word, that have unfortunately made me lose sleep because of their loudness. Let's see here. Anything that I can look at in here, anything at all. Oh my god, I thought there was a person over there. That's not okay. Oh, I don't know the code. Alright, let's find this code. It's gotta be here somewhere. Oh. That was helpful. Can you please not? Please don't do that. Please, please, please. That would be wonderful. I'm just trying to find a code. Oh, there it is. Four, wait. I see a four, and I see an eight. 485. 485. Let's try that. Stop whispering. Nope. No. Stay on the floor. I should have gone the other way. It would have been faster. Okay. 4. 8. 5. Ooh. What does that say? He, wait, the past holds back, look closer. The thought alone that the most beautiful piece of art doesn't have my name on it is killing me. So, will you marry me? Way to try to assert ownership over a person, dude. That is a pretty ring. Oh, never forget. All right, let's see what's behind this door. You've been snooping around my workshop again. For the last time, you are not allowed in that room. Even if the door happens to be open, I forbid it. This is your last warning. Next time, you'll have to look for a new job. Okay, for a second, I thought that was for his wife. Which I was about to say, you probably shouldn't forbid parts of your house to somebody who lives there. But if it's for somebody who works for you, I guess that's okay. You should probably use different language, though. Like, hey, I'd appreciate it if you didn't snoop in my, la my workshop. Instead of being like super demanding, because that's how you get bad ratings by employees. That's fucking terrifying. I mean, all right. I would never in my life have that in my house. All right, this grabbing the drawers thing. Let's see here. Nothing. Oh, things changed. All right, that seems like a code violation. Dude, your face isn't finished. That's okay. <gasps> Can you not? Please, please don't fucking do that. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, okay. just like just that. Like Hold that pose. That I want to get all those lovely curves just right. Dude, you are creepy. <laughs> Super creepy. 
Whew. Don't do it again. I'm afraid to turn around. Can I turn can I light these candles? <gasps> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. 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 Alright. I'm okay. That was terrifying. Alright, I'm gonna need a minute to recover from that. The cool thing about this game being early access is that all the gameplay that I saw is more than likely going to be quite different from me actually playing the game. So, I saw a lot of gameplay from a few months ago, and this game has been updated quite a lot since then, so even though I've seen a whole bunch of gameplay, I, I still feel like this is a completely new game, which is awesome. Hey, sorry I haven't written in a while. I've been swarmed with work. I gotta tell you, your last letter was troubling, to say the least. I just can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The lady in black especially. That was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you except to get her some professional help. Pronto. You could probably talk to someone as well. With all that's happened, I'm sure it would do some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the buyer was sorely disappointed with the news. The new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. You just hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in you. I believe in you. Your friend and agent, Thomas Caldwell. I don't. Aw, dude, you gotta believe in yourself. That's how things get done. Please don't cry. Okay. I mean, you can totally cry because your husband's totally an asshole. Oh, two directions. Which way do I go? Let's go down the longer, creepier hallway. This might not have been the best choice. And of course the door closed behind me. I probably should have gone through the other door first. Oh well. We'll see what happens. I don't like this room. I don't like it one bit. I like this room even less. I wish I had a flashlight. Flashlights make horror games so much better, I think because then I can actually see and I don't like not being able to see that is a lot of apples I think they're apples, yeah they're apples I don't want to be in here I don't want to be in here at all oh look a door can I open this door? Yay, a lighted hallway. And a door that closes by itself. Ooh. First step is the hardest. I'll say. And we're back in the kitchen. Which means something creepy is going to happen. That note's gone. Let's still move that. Maybe I'll actually find something in the cabinets this time. These are very interesting looking cabinets. Like, they look like ovens. Oh. Please don't do that. Why is 
see where that happened. Nope. Guess who's not going through that door? Get the fuck out of here. Oh no, I have to go through that door. Alright. Oh shit. Okay. I don't see anything. First, I look for a canvas. Not just any canvas. Oh god, is that skin? I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread runs. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hands steady. still can't see anything and I would like to be able to see something before I go anywhere I can see this door yeah I can open it again oh and it's the workshop like some bloody flamingos there on the skin canvas. Okay. Deep breaths. Remember, you're a professional. It's just the first few strokes, then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? Shapeless dreams. Jesus. Jesus! Did you just buy half of the department store? Honey, you don't even know yet if it's going to be a boy or a girl. Those do not look wearable. So for those of you who don't know, the, object, the object of the game is to find all the items that go in these cabinets. So what I'll probably do today is I'll find one more and then I will save the other ones for another episode.